Greetings and welcome to yet another edition of Let's Turn This Box Truck Into an RV or maybe better known lately as Let's Make Some Cabinetry for an RV. So we got six cabinets going. I'll give you a quick update here. Just a little bit of progress. Uh, I've got the drawers fitted in here. These nice drawer slides. Uh, I'm real happy with how they fit. Uh, as you can see, I had to shim them out a little bit here, and they're shimmed out a little here, shimmed here, and in the back side, I've got some shims in there as well. Uh, but I'm real happy with, uh, with how the drawers fit in there. And the drawers are over here. Uh, they're ready to be varnished, and uh, I'm going to use armor seal on everything. I'm trying to get everything ready to varnish at this point. I've cleaned up the workshop a little bit here, gotten the worst of the dust out. Uh, these are ready to varnish. All of the doors are stacked up over here. They've been blown off, cleaned off. They're ready to varnish. This top cabinet, uh, what I did is I ended up putting some oak paneling on the side. This is uh, glued on and a few little finish nails as well. And I'm real happy with how it looks. I think that's a much better look with some of the dark and light streaks in there much better look than like down below where you just get the good old-fashioned veneered oak plywood this just has a lot more character and it'll blend in with the rest of the uh, rest of the R RV once we get this going and same thing over here on the refrigerator base you can see I glued on some oak paneling with a little bit of character you can see down below here where I didn't glue it on, that's going to be a, just a little cabinet underneath there. And I've mocked up a, what's to be the countertop for this cabinet. Obviously I'm not going to make it out of particle board, um, or MDF is whatever you call it. This is just a scrap, but the idea is the rounded front corner. And I do think I'm going to have it hang over a little bit more, hang over another inch there. just to, So it's a ledge to set a glass on or set a plate on whatever and I'm working on the microwave oven cabinet now this is the last piece that needs a little attention before I go ahead and start varnishing everything up uh, I struggle with how to keep this door open and as you, you can see I made a little sliding piece of wood here that you can put your thumb in so when the door opens up you pull this out and that holds the door open so you can get at the microwave oven which goes down in here. Uh, also I'm going to put a, I call it a control panel, right below the microwave oven cabinet and I've got this mocked up right now. I found some pieces of black walnut that are notched out on the bottom here. I think these will just screw to the side very nicely on the left and right and the black walnut will just to give a little accent, a little character. I think I'm going to make the front out of a piece of quarter inch thick black walnut as well and I'm laying this out now the radio is going to go right uh, right in the center like so and then I've got a push button here for the inverter it's going to go right there and then my battery monitor is going to go over here uh, I've got picked up a USB port so if you want to plug in your iPhone or whatever a little USB power goes here and then I've got a fan switch I still need to put in and let's see there's a what's called a charge wizard there's a little button for that as well there'll be a gap right up in here uh, these boards have to be cut down a little shorter so that this gap will accommodate one of these aluminum strips for under cabinet lights so that's going to go under there as well and it will illuminate the control panel um, I should probably have one down below here too to light things on the cabinet down below but uh, but I don't think I will these boards are going to go one here and one here inside to support the front panel so this front control panel can have four screws to attach it so it should be fairly easy to take off to get at things inside the uh, this wiring cavity as you remember all the wires are going to come out right about here and come up and go to the different things in this control panel and I need a bottom for it as well. Uh, I've got a piece of one quarter inch oak scrap that I think I'll use for that. Uh, speaking of scraps, I wanted to tell you on these drawers, I got some really nice plywood. If you look at this plywood, there's about 400 plies of plywood in there. And uh, 
those are all just scraps actually those came out of a dumpster they were left over from a construction project and just such nice pieces of plywood I knew I'd use them somewhere and uh, the drawers are made almost completely out of scraps the uh, the front oak face is screwed on and again they're pretty carefully fitted into the the drawer drawer uh, openings in the sink cabinet base you know anybody that tells you that's easy and goes quick uh, I don't I don't know they're they're they must know something I don't know because it takes a lot of time to fit doors and drawers properly and I'm a little concerned that once I get all this stuff in the RV it's the RV is not going to be perfectly square and level and the drawers and doors aren't going to fit as well as they do down here but you know it is what it is we'll see what happens so I'm on this uh, mission to get everything ready to get things varnished um, I'll show you something here in my shop I told you I cleaned a lot of the dust out of the shop I've got an old squirrel cage blower came out of a furnace and I've got it mounted in the corner here behind a window and it's on a counterweight so if I lift this bucket of sand the whole the whole thing comes down like this and I can get at the window up here and put the window back in or just pop out the window push this up and I've got it plugged in right now to an outlet here which is controlled by a switch over here on the, the post so when I turn that switch on and I open up the door to the upstairs this kicks in and my dust collector kicks in and it really pulls the draft right through here then I just take my air compressor put on a dust mask and just start blowing things out just let that fan just suck everything outside and it works pretty good for cleaning up the shop so and these squirrel cage blowers there are a dime a dozen if you find a find a dumpster somewhere or find somebody who does heating ventilation and cooling it's pretty easy to find a scrap furnace and uh, pull a squirrel cage blower out I used a similar squirrel cage blower for uh, an oven hood that I made for our oven up in the kitchen for the range top and, uh, and it works extremely well. It pulls a lot of air. So that's it for today. Until next time.